Hello everyone, this is normally the point when I say that we are going to be exploring Capture One, uh, but today I want to talk about a strategy for editing photographs of holiday lights, Christmas decorations, uh, holiday lights at zoos or at other uh, uh, locations near where you live. We will be using Capture One, but everything I'm talking about is applicable in Lightroom or Photoshop or other major photo editing. So today this is how to edit photographs of of holiday lights. Here we go. As usual, I am editing inside of Capture One, but nothing I'm doing is going to be Capture One specific. So this is from an event at my local zoo, and I really like the image that I got. I like some of my uh, background, but there's portions of the background I'm not thrilled about, and that's being able to just see more of the ground and more of this actual background area. So is there a way that I would be able to work with this and make this image pop just a little bit more? The answer is absolutely. So what we're going to do is mask for Luma range. What we're going to do is come over to our masking and layering tool. We're gonna to build a filled adjustment layer. And that means that the uh, mask is everything. But now we're going to tailor that mask based on brightness. In Capture One, that means coming down to Luma range right here. And this is going to be a mask for the brighter areas, which means I want all the brightness right there, but I'm going to start removing any of the dark areas. And I'm going to do this until the lights start to go out. And that is right into that neighborhood. I don't want that, so let's pull it back. I think right in this area here is going to be appropriate, and we're going to apply. We're going to then rename this just as Bright. Great, now we're going to duplicate this, but with a dark area. So a new filled adjustment layer, we're gonna rename this as dark, and now I'm going to Luma Range Control this guy. Make sure display mask is turned on. I want all of the dark areas. I'm gonna start pull the bright areas down, and I want all of those lights to disappear, but as soon as that ground starts to become part uh, removed from the mask, that's my limit. So right around in there is gonna be fine, and I'll apply that. So now I have a mask for the bright areas and for the dark areas. I'm gonna take the one for the dark areas and I'm going to make it darker. So turn off the mask and I'm going to grab this and just start darkening that background exposure. If I wanted to come in, by the way, and add these areas to the mask, I absolutely can and it's probably a good idea. Now I could take the bright areas, and I would use brightness here if you're using Capture One because bright uh, attempt, uh, brightness attempts to increase the brightness without also brightening areas that are already overexposed. And at that point, I might be able to add saturation. If I felt I was blowing out some areas, I could pull back on highlights if I wanted to. And if it's a particularly uh, interesting display with some texture that I want, I would be able to add structure. And now for our Lightroom users, let's do the exact same thing in Lightroom. So here's another image from that same shoot. I'm gonna come up to masking right over here, and I'm going to turn on masking and come to range. Underneath range, you'll find luminance range right there. All right, I want to uh, start working on this. I always like to make sure that we are showing our luminance range map, and we are going to start removing some of the dark areas. But the second that we start eating into the brighter points, we stop. That's great. So rename this as bright. Wonderful. Now we're going to create a new mask from a luminance range, right? We're going to show that. And then we're going to start removing from this end. And we're going to remove all of the bright areas. And as soon as we think we've got all of that, we can stop. I think that's pretty good. And we're going to rename this as dark take just my darker areas, because uh, that's the mask that we should be on at the moment, and we're gonna take exposure down on that area. Great, take my brighter areas, O for overlay, because I don't wanna see them at the moment, and here I feel like I can bring my brightness up by a little bit. I might pull highlights just slightly down, um, and then this particular portion, this mask, I could bring saturation up, and of course, maybe dehaze, and I might add clarity to it. All right, hit press Y for before and after to be able to see, looks good. And that is the exact same technique in Lightroom. All right, uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, I hope that you are happy and healthy and that you have a wonderful day and holiday season, and I'll see you next time.